Since November 2022, not a single day where we haven't heard about AI. But did you know that AI has existed since 1950s? You and I both know that AI is the present and the future. And AI tech professionals are some of the highly sought after tech professionals. An average AI engineer salary range from $100,000 to $500,000 a year. And there is no better time to become an AI engineer than 2025 and beyond. And what if you were at the forefront of these AI developments as an AI engineer? In this video, I'm going to be sharing an exact roadmap and step-by-step -step guide that you can follow to become an AI engineer in 2025. So what is an AI engineer? Let's start with the basics. An AI engineer is a professional who designs, builds, and maintains AI models and systems. Their roles often involve working with machine learning, deep learning, and natural language processing to create intelligent systems capable of performing tasks that typically require human intelligence. Think of self-driving cars, recommendation systems, and even virtual assistants like Siri or Alexa. If it's AI related, an AI engineer is involved. Let's take a quick pause and talk about what is the difference between an AI engineer and an ML engineer. I see these titles being used interchangeably all the time, but they are not actually the same thing. An AI engineer focuses on building AI powered applications. Think chatbots, recommendation systems, or AI driven tools. They work with deep learning, NLP, and computer vision, and they know how to deploy AI models into the real world products. A machine learning engineer, on the other hand, is all about models. They take raw data, train and fine tune models and optimize them for performance and scalability. At the end of the day, AI engineer build the full AI systems and ML engineer make sure these models inside these systems actually work well. Both roles are important, but they are not the same. So if you're trying to figure out which one you want to pursue, Make sure that you understand the difference between both of them. For the remainder of this video, we will focus on AI engineer roadmap and the skills you need to build AI powered products. AI is a vast field. So one of the things that I would recommend you to do is study the different specializations that are available within the AI field. For example, there is natural language processing, but then there's also neural network. There is computer vision and robotics. There are so many areas that you can learn and specialize in the AI field. So definitely do your homework and learn about all the fields within the AI space so you can figure out what exactly you are interested in and you can spend your time learning that specialization. Let's say now you understand the AI field. Now we step into step two. There are certain prerequisites and foundations that you need to have in order to start learning and developing your skills as an AI engineer. You need a solid foundation in computer science. Start with concepts like data structures, array, stacks, queues, linked lists, algorithms, searching, sorting, and optimizing algorithms, and object-oriented programming. Okay, that was mouthful. But what we're trying to say here is have a solid understanding of how algorithm works, how data structure works, because you will be using a lot of it as an AI engineer. For coding languages, Python is by far the number one language that you need to know as an AI engineer. It has simple syntaxes, but powerful libraries that you can use, such as matplotlib for data manipulation and visualization, numpy for perfect mathematical operations and matrix manipulation. While pandas can help you do data manipulation, there are specific Python libraries that you will be using to do your AI work. For example, TensorFlow. You should also get comfortable with libraries like Scikit-Learn for machine learning algorithms, which covers tasks such as classification, regression, clustering, and dimensionality reduction. In addition, C Sharp and sometimes Java is often used for performance critical applications, particularly in deep learning and computer versions, while Java is useful for enterprise level AI systems. So having knowledge and understanding of both of these languages could be crucial to your success as an AI engineer. Interactive learning is important when learning AI. So I'm sharing a platform that I personally like, DataCamp, which provides everything you need to become an AI engineer in one place. I have personally used DataCamp for years to level up my skills and their new associates AI engineer for developers track is a game changer. It is practical where you learn by doing through short videos and hands-on exercises where you can build your AI powered applications, 
directly in your browser. The program teaches you how to work with large language models, build chatbots and recommendation engines, and integrate AI into production systems using top AI APIs and open source libraries like OpenAI, Hugging Face, Langchain, and Pinecone. Plus, you will learn best practices for handling APIs, structuring model output, and making AI applications reliable at scale. By the end of this track, you will apply your knowledge to real-world projects and gain the career-building skills needed to become an AI engineer. So if you need a resource to develop all AI skills in one platform to become an AI engineer, then DataCamp is a great platform for you. I'm linking the program in the description below. Thanks to DataCamp for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now let's talk about the next step you need to learn to become an AI engineer. All right, you have now understood what the different fields are in the AI space. You have solid coding knowledge. You have mastered Python. After you have gotten the coding down, now it's time to learn the core skills that you would need to know as an AI engineer. Number one thing that you need to become familiar with is math and machine learning. For machine learning, start with supervised learning where you train a model with label data and unsupervised learning where the model finds pattern in unlabeled data. For coding, scikit-learn is an excellent library for implementing these algorithms in Python. You can start by working with basic algorithms like linear regression, logistic regression, k-means clustering, and decision trees. For more complex models, you will want to dive into deep learning. This is a subset of machine learning that uses neural networks to process data in complex ways. Start with basic architectures like feed-forward neural networks, and then explore more advanced models like convolutional neural networks, CNNs, and recurrent neural networks, RNNs. Frameworks like TensorFlow and PyTorch are industry standards and something that you should be familiar with. To train your models, you will need to understand back propagation and optimization algorithms like gradient descent. You can implement these algorithms with TensorFlow or PyTorch. Visualize training progress with tools like TensorBoard. Okay, I just threw a lot of terms at you. But this is just to give you an idea that AI engineering is a vast field. Depending on what area you want to specialize in, you will go in depth within each area. For example, if you want to do NLP, which is natural language processing, you will build your skill set and go deeper into NLP. Try to understand what are the specific libraries, models, algorithms that you will be using to apply NLP. So which brings me to my step number four, specialized AI skills. If you want to specialize in NLP, you will start with basics like tokenizations, part of speech tagging, and named entity recognition, NER libraries like NLTK, Natural Language Toolkit. These are excellent for implementing these techniques as you progress work with transformer models like BERT and GPT using Hugging Face transformer libraries, which provide pre-trained models for tasks like text classification, translation, summarization, and text generation. For computer vision, you will work with image data, OpenCV and Pillow are great for image processing tasks like resizing, filtering, and cropping images. TensorFlow and PyTorch again are used for building CNNs and performing more advanced tasks like object detection using APIs like TensorFlow object detection APIs and PyTorch torch vision. For video analysis and tracking objects in motion, OpenCV also offers robust tools. Once you have learned the theory, now it's time to apply. And for building your projects, I would say like start building your projects and start simple and then go advanced. In terms of the number of projects, I would say like anywhere from five is definitely a good number to showcase on your portfolio. For your projects, I would suggest to start simple. For example, your first project could be building spam email classifier, where you take your emails from your Gmail or whatever you use and classify spam emails. So it could be as simple as just using your own personal data, applying what you have learned, and then solving the problem and building a algorithm around it so you can actually now get hands-on experience on it. So once you have gotten the basic projects down, then take on more complex projects like building an image classifier using CNNs in TensorFlow or building a chat bot using RNNs and NLP techniques in TensorFlow or PyTorch. The possibilities are endless. And if you're looking for ideas in terms of like what an AI system you can build, 
use ChatGPT to come up with project ideas. For example, pick an area that you are personally excited about, whether that is finances, healthcare, or something else. Find a problem and then solve it by building projects using the stuff that you have learned. In addition to doing these projects and adding it to your GitHub and on your website and on your portfolio, I would also encourage you to think about how you can participate in GitHub open source and contribute there and show your skills as an AI engineer to start building your portfolio. Now, let's say you've done all the work, now it's time for you to like build a career as an AI engineer. As an AI engineer, you can work in various industries from tech companies, healthcare, finance, gaming, more, you name it. AI is going to be everywhere if it's not already. So you pick an area that you are interested in, let's say if you're interested in healthcare AI, then that's the career that you will be pursuing. With respect to careers, you can specialize as an AI researcher, a machine learning engineer, a computer vision engineer, or even an AI product manager. Yes, that's a new role that is going to stay here. And one thing I do wanna add that for more research focused roles, you probably would need more understanding of the core fundamentals and the underpinning theoreticals in order to actually do the research work, which is why we'll often see a lot of PhDs doing AI engineering work. And let's say if you do make it to the end where you have done the work, where you have learned the theories, you have learned the coding, the hard skills, the soft skills, and now you have applied and built your projects and you are going into a job search and actually landed a job. And now you have offers that you're deciding between. One thing that I would definitely recommend is looking into negotiating your salary and actually not looking into it, doing the negotiation and negotiating your salary, do not accept the first offer. And if you need more help or more guidance, more strategies, negotiate your salary and total compensation successfully. I actually have a masterclass where I teach you a lot more in depth. So definitely check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in comments, what are some key takeaways from this video and what else you'd like to see on my page. With that, I hope you're having a beautiful day. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, bye.